Welcome back. I'm not sure I wanted Earth Spirit Middle so badly that it's like, well, Sumel, you're support now, buddy. But Boca is just a better Earth Spirit player than you. You are building vanguards on any, everything. Like, <laughs> how are you gonna do <laughs> much? And that's the case. And Silencer down bottom is gonna make my prediction wrong as he does oh, fall no. first. He is the first blood, and they're about to get a kill at the very least onto this Rubik. So Boca finds the counter kill onto Imitator. We might have some more kills now as Baboka and them, they're smoked up again. We'll find Imitator, kick him back on the Rubik, but I'm not sure they get this kill. Nice little telekinesis from the Rubik as they bring down PicU. Irving has made his presence known, but no Blink Dagger just yet. They're looking for Sumail, they find him with the Demonic Purge, halt his possession, and kill him off. There are rotations, look at this. Oh, no, and they have in. Blink Dagger on Magnus. They know he's here, they've got the vision. Blink Mag. Is he gonna come in with the RP? They really want the Wisdom Moon. It got stolen by Sumail. RP did connect onto Popoka. Global Silence will be there from Team Master, but it, will it be able to bail Popoka out of danger? No, it will not. He dies in the trees during a TP attempt. There was a bet between Sumail and Popoka. One of us is gonna play mad. We don't know what's up. I'm gonna maybe see a fight here. They know that there's no RP, so it's easier for them as they jump forward onto Irving, kick him back towards the tier 1 tower. The primal role will be there, but they still haven't found the kill. He's alive, saved by Undyne. There will be a stolen primal role going in by Imitator, as he just wants to get out of this fight. Rubik will die, the rolling boulder connects onto Irving, and they bring him down as well. So that's two pickups for Team Aster here. Or at the very least, by the time they realize it's happening, it's going to be too late for them to reply. They're at least trying to get the tier 1 tower middle, but they've lost their Aegis now. And let's see if Team Asta can also force a fight middle. Mid lane, Undyne, Tumblr's toy forward, and actually missed the real disruption. Only caught one of the Medusa illusions. So Monet gets to survive. Primal Roar. Roar does connect onto Phoenix, but it doesn't stop the skewer. He does manage to get onto the low ground. The RP, though, that's going to create more problems for the Magnus. His escape will be stopped by the Stone Gaze and the Rolling Boulder, and his life will be forfeit. There's let's see what three. happens here. Yeah, they're too scared for the fight, man. Okay, Arcane from now, Boboka on the hill. He's got vision, he rolls down, he finds the Terror Blade first and foremost. Magnetize will come out, but they don't have the full damage just yet. Global Silence will now get popped as Sumail. He's been forced into the fight. Instead, they want to try and isolate Irving here, getting the damage out onto this Axe and the Magnus. Phoenix, he'll be the first one to die. Irving might chasing him into the grave. They've already removed Imitator, and Irving can't escape either. I'm dying. I'm dying. Can he escape away from XXX? The Axes won't catch him as the Disruption came first. Tumblr's toy will ensure that he stays alive, but here's the rolling boulder. Popoka really wants this chase. We'll be able to get the Spirit Festival out on top of him. And he's trying to juke, but the jukes will not be good enough as he ends up dead. He doesn't have to wait that long for his ultimate. Magnetize back online and want to try and expend it towards his mid lane. They have vision of the offlaner and the mid. They know where they're at, but here we get a nice little harpoon. Skewer play, but the Popoka! He gets saved by Sumail. Beautiful blinding light. Make sure the RP misses him and XXX completely. And now Popoka's gonna jump it deeper into the fight. They've already taken Undyne. down this Magnus. Undyne falling so low. Spirit Vessel with some right click damage ensures that he dies off as well. Sort of a bait. A hero that naturally tends to farm alone anyway. Really mm. nicely. Popoka finds a kick back onto Irving. And Irving is definitely gonna die here. I mean, it looks like I'm right his best. the end. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, actually still. Very much on track for this 25 minutes as Team Bright really oh, struggling to deal with Team Master and now the <laughs> disruption onto a Manta Illusions. Monet still not going to let the real hero get disrupted. I don't think we've seen the real Medusa disrupted all game. Yeah, did you did you see the dodge as well? He actually meant a dodge disruption. Yeah, it's the second time he did it. He did it earlier as well. Global Silence comes out now. Heat. No, 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 no. Before, he, before the illusion got disrupted, it's the same thing here. During rolling boulders, so I don't yeah. think you're invulnerable. Yeah, of course, you can be fissured and you know stuff like that. So, yeah. uh huh. Ooh, knock, that, knock. There we go. That leads me to question, Liz. What do you think? You know the Astro of Imprisonment, the one that allows the allies to walk around. Team Asta did this without an Aegis or anything like that. They just feel strong Imitator. enough. Imitator. His smoke does pop, so Baboka knows where he's at. But can they start this fight? Irving still doesn't have Blink Dagger here, fam. 26 minutes into the game, this Axe just cannot initiate. Now that Global Silence did start this fight, XXX and the boy is going deeper in the engagement. Lots of damage going on to Popoka. Primal Roar there, though. Onto Undyne, and Undyne is dead. Stone Gaze stalling up some heroes, stolen away by Imitator. It allows this team to escape a little bit, and they finally bring down Popoka. He does buy back, though. 
They TP out on the Magnus at the same time. Heat dies, though. He's not allowed to escape this fight. Monet's GG. damage is too much. And they just call it. He doesn't have buyback. He doesn't have options. So GG well played is called. <laughs> Team Master, too good. All the tips on Sumail, position four. <laughs> Keeper of the light. Now she is a universal hero. So her potential in the mid lane actually got better as the snap. So we should be expecting to see Sumail do quite well here. I wish, I wish that's the case. It just teaches you how to be as big of a nuisance as possible. The imitator running away. <laughs> He's trying to run away. Beautiful boundless strike from Heat. And the hook will pull out Imitator. But maybe that's not who you wanted to pull out with the hook. As Sumail draws first blood. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Imitator again. Imitator is in danger. Poboka around him with PQ. Do they have the damage for this? No, they do not. Heat turns around with a two hero boundless strike. Poboka should be dead. And a nice hook back. On to pick you, dragged in the Oracle, but they didn't feel confident enough to go for that grab as well. They had an Observer Ward out from Team Master, so they scouted out that both Undyne and Imitator are here. And they're going on to Undyne himself. Sticky Bomb, gonna chase him around here, blows up in his face, Undyne should end up dead. And it's not like they went for the Infernal Blade build on Doom anyway, right? So they don't really expect to be uh, making kills here. It's more of just surviving. Like, Doom, well, they, they will get this skill. Yeah, Sticky Bomb is such a good spell. And unfortunately, Heat is still too low level for Bounder Strike to realistically threaten the life of XXX. Sumail right now almost doubling up the CS of his counterpart in the mid lane. And Phoenix, level 4. Sumail, level 5 and a half. Jeez. Scary times on the map. Yeah, is Boboka and... gonna live? Probably not. Ah, uh, no, he will not. Brought down by Heat, he can't find Undyne, and Heat actually wants to chase for more, looking for XXX. There's no Infernal Blade, no more Scorched Earth, Jingle will proc, one more right click should kill him. Damn, nice. And Heat gets a double kill on this Monkey King in the top lane. Imitator does have the Frostbite, but can't necessarily go towards Sumail, as he already used it on Pikyu, fighting over oh, the Phoenix. Shroon, and now they're going on to Phoenix. Phoenix eating damage from the Morty's Kisses. Pikyu literally has walked up to him, Fortunes ends him, and they get that kill. Are we sure that Sumail doesn't speak Chinese? Because the team communication here on the side of Team Master has just been impeccable to watch in these series. Yeah, it definitely feels like he's learning. And learning quickly and learning a lot. Imitator. Should be dead here. Sumail comes in. Fire snap cookie after the blast off. Oh, they have two ways of jumping on you. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, they might try and do, but they also might try and do those punches. There was vision onto him as well. Imitator drops down the frostbite. And he's going to end up in an awkward position. Hook back, but the salvation will not be there. As Undyne just has to watch his ally die. And he might die himself. The Morty's Kisses, half of them connected flush. XXX still doesn't have the Infernal Blade. So this chase, not as easy as you would want. But they should still have the damage. Blast off will be there. But Boca gets a double kill somehow off of this. Slight of fist. They are stealing some creeps here, but they might die for them. Boboka will definitely die here. The question is, will he be chased into the grave by XXX Undyne? Has a hook available. Sumail is here. Turns around with the Scatter Blast. They hook him back on XXX. Imitator throws out the freeze. Undyne falling very low. Two hero boundless strike. Oh, and they nice do kill charge. Undyne. But Irving finds a two hero charge. Keeping them both inside the Wukongs. Sumail is able to escape with the Fire Snap cookie. But XXX will not be as lucky as he. Yeah, Monet popped RP just to make sure that he can escape away. From the damage of Team Bright. They were charging him with Irving, but they cancel out the charge as they throw in the Fire Snap quickie, throwing Monet forward onto Imitator. Boboka, of course, finishes Stop him playing. up. 4 4 and 6 on this Techies. In the meantime, though, a fight happening on the other side. XXX, he doesn't have his allies nearby him, and he will be isolated and brought down here. Best case scenario for Team Bright. And get more status resist, yeah. just survive these fights. I think that's a good call as well. He's farming so very he deep. To do. Yeah. He's farming very deep and very close to the enemy lines, but... Oh no, Phoenix, 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 Phoenix. Is that they have legitimately been behind in the vision battle. The aggressive wards from Team Asta throughout the series have been so difficult for them to deal with. It's almost like they have perfect vision at all times of what Team Bright is up to. And they're gonna use that vision middle. 
to try and get a quick kill onto Imitator. Heat will cancel out the Bounder Strike of the Morty's Kisses, and now Sumail might be in danger. Two heroes caught with the Searing Chains. There's going to be the Freezing Field from Imitator. He does die, but he sets off for the Wukong's Command from this Monkey King. Can they finally kill Sumail? No. False Promise buys him time. Oh, Arthur nice will RP. die, though. And there's the RP. Gets more damage coming in from the Techies. And even inside the Wukong's Command, even with BKB on Heat, has to run himself away. It is a full five hero wipe. All they got was the Oracle. He wasn't out of position. Oracle as well. Look at that. He uses the stick, survives just long enough. Just long enough to survive there. And it leads into a fight for them. Back into the real game, into the real nice world. Hook. We do see Sumail finally getting hooked back towards Undyne. The question is, do they have the damage? So far, they do not. There was a beautiful boundless strike, but the score was even better. Forcing the Monkey King and Pudge far away from Sumail and forcing them to their deaths. Two have fallen. Phoenix trying to escape. His remnants aren't in the best position here, Liz. A lot of ATOS slows them up on the high ground. Sumail camping the remnant spot. So caught between a rock and a hard place and he just ends up dead. You know, look, looking at this game, watching this GG, 18 minutes in. Wow. Yeah, wow. Okay. Wow. I think okay. Monkey had enough. <laughs> he just had enough.